Think about the word serotonin. Memories of your acceptance to McMaster or eating a really, really cheesy pizza probably fill your mind. We commonly associate this word serotonin with feelings of happiness, but this is just one of the functions serotonin has in the brain. Little did you know that over 95% of the body serotonin actually comes from outside of the brain and governs many other physiological processes. My lab has found that serotonin has an intimate relationship with energy expenditure, which has very many implications in understanding obesity. We found that serotonin inhibits brown adipose tissue or brown fat, and this is a contributor to whole body metabolic rate. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking, and yes, there are different types of fat. The fat that you and I try so hard to lose in the gym has energy-rich lipids that are collectively called white adipose tissue or white fat. Brown adipose tissue, or brown fat on the other hand, doesn't primarily store this fat, it burns the fat as a way to generate heat. Despite having very little amounts of brown adipose tissue in our bodies, it, it can account for two to 300 calories of energy expenditure per day and protects us from excess weight gain. However, the outstanding question that I still have for my research is what is the source of endogenous serotonin that inhibits brown adipose tissue and causes obesity? Well, the one thing that I've been looking at recently are these cells called mast cells, and these are the same culprits that are responsible for the allergic response. We often use antihistamine medication, such as Reactin or Benadryl, in order to mitigate these cells' effects. I have created a model to show that serotonin from mast cells inhibits brown fat and induces obesity. I took a mouse model that has no mast cells and I injected either mast cells with serotonin or mast cells that have a genetic deletion in the enzyme that synthesizes serotonin, leaving us with serotoninless mast cells. And as you can see here in the red versus the blue, the ones in red, the ones that have the regular mast cells with serotonin, gain significantly more weight than the ones that do not have serotonin in their mast cells. And as you can see, that this was attributed to gains in fat mass, which are commonly associated with obesity. Furthermore, using thermal imaging, we see here that the mice that do not have serotonin in their mast cells emit more heat on the dorsal side of the mouse, which is where the brown adipose tissue pad is located. Thus, we see here that serotonin from mast cells inhibits brown adipose tissue and energy expenditure to induce obesity. Thank you.